fish on. made it and uh, I'm actually here to, on the river here close to my house I'm actually gonna be doing something a little different I've been trying to target some bigger catfish here the last couple months and the bite has been terrible on catfish in this river Wyatt's caught one flathead out of the whole river and he was only like two or three pounds so what I'm gonna try is something a little different <clears throat> I've got a Gatorade bottle full of crickets. And uh, kind of going to old school. And uh, yeah, got me some Gatorade. Got a Gatorade bottle full of crickets. Probably got a dozen or so on there. But so yeah, um, the rig I'm going to be using is just a little lead head jig with uh, a bobber. And uh, we're gonna see what we can catch with these crickets now. We can catch uh, hickory shad, moon eye, uh, channel cats, probably a gar, maybe a drum, um, possibly a walleye. Walleye is pretty rare, but they do catch them in here. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Hopefully, we catch. I catch something. I just need to see my it'll pull in because I have not seen that yet this year on my end so but anyways I'm gonna get baited up and we're gonna get to fishing so all I'm doing with these crickets is I'm hooking them through the abdomen it's hard to get them to stay still that's a bad thing about using crickets but is I'm hooking them through the abdomen and through the top of the head like that and then let me get my bobber out of my pocket here. I just got the old classic red and white bobber. Because all my foam floats. I can't find them. But I'm just going to run that bobber about two to three foot. And because uh, the water's pretty warm. But so yeah, we'll run that up there like so and we're gonna get to fishing and basically all i want it to do is my current's gonna the current's gonna kind of carry my bait uh kind of downstream a little bit so set and see what happens it shouldn't take long oh already got a bite fish on what is it, a little channel cat that's what it feels like yes sir fish number one heck yeah
It's a great way to catch eater channels right there. Fish number one, nice little channel cat. Uh, if this is a good way to catch eaters, guys, he's all spotted up, real pretty fish. Let's go ahead and get him turned loose. I'm just gonna toss him. There he goes. All right. Let's catch us another one. All right, let's give it another whirl here. This is a great way to get kids and first time fishermen involved in cat fishing. These night crawlers work too. Uh, just got another bite going, but in the middle of the summer, crickets seem to work better, or big green grasshoppers. Um, I've had good luck with big green grasshoppers. This is just an old timey way of doing it. You can find crickets just about anywhere. I don't know if I got something or what, but. I just kind of want to see if I had something on there. And they stole my cricket. So let's go get rebaited again. But as I was saying, it's just great to, this is a great way to catch lots of channel cats in the dog days of the summer. Right now it's the middle of August and you know, there's really no better way to spend it other than fishing. And uh, this time of the year, this river's terrible. It's been terrible all year actually. Or catching any kind of fish other than gar but as I was saying just uh, when you rig these kids might have a hard time with crickets I don't know unless they're a boy they might not a girl might not either but you just hook them through the abdomen and then just come out right before the head and uh that's how I hook them, and I've had good luck by doing it that way. It's amazing on how small the little cricket can catch a fish, you know, the size. I mean, they ain't real big, but still, it's just amazing to me anyways. But let's see if we can catch another one. Something hit it. Fish on. Otherwise, lose something my drag here. What do we got? What do we got? Another channel cat. Come here, Mr. Channel. Heck yeah, son. You gotta watch these. These will get you. These will fend the tar out of you if you are not careful. There. Got him. Another nice little channel cat. This is a young one. Uh, I'll have to be careful with him. He'll fend the tar out of me, so I'm gonna have to turn him back. But good eater size right there. These are to me they are. Let's go ahead and turn him loose. Awesome. Turn him loose. Oh shoot. Well I didn't go as smoothly. Man, they're slick when they're that young. Oh, Let's get rebaited and catch another one. So far guys, two fish, and uh, I've been getting a lot of bites just stealing my bait, so. I don't know. A little bit smaller cricket, but man. End up busting my face is what's gonna happen. You guys just ever sit and talk to your line and be like, come on. Nope, there. Oh, I think I hooked. That's my bad. Dang it. I pulled it a little too early. I knew it. Gonna fix my cricket here. Man. 
this is fun actually guys i'm having fun doing this i like catching big catfish but i just like to catch fish i like watching that bobber you know i need to get some floats for flatheads i know a lot of guys that do that and they have good luck it's just i've never really thought of it about using it in current but a lot of guys do it and they catch a lot of big fish doing it so that'll be something to it oh got a bite The only reason I'm jerking early is so they don't take my bait and they haven't took the whole thing yet so I'm going to keep using it. It's a pretty good chunk still on there. I'm just using a uh, Lose Speed Spool uh, Hank Parker Series Speed Stick Spinning Reel. It's a HPA 20. Oh shoot, I got a fish. I don't know what that is. Little channel cat. Woohoo! A little dinky little thing, but he's a fish. Man, you gotta watch these things. They will freaking get, they will freaking fin the snot out of you. Fish number three, little old channel cat. I'm really, I'm squeezing him because I don't want him to fin me. Because these are, these are the size that will get your butt. So, but uh, heck yeah, fish number three. I like this. Let's turn it loose. Oh, that one goes smoothly. Man, they're slick under that, yeah. Oh. Let's get rebaited and catch another one. I know they're not real big fish, guys, but I tell you what, they're a ton of fun to catch. And with the way the summer's been, with the catfish bite being slow anyways it's uh it's nice just to it's nice just to catch a fish because frankly i don't really like bass fishing i've caught a lot of big bass don't really need to catch anymore unless you guys want to see it but uh i just love coming down here to the river and just tossing out a bobber with some crickets or some worms and uh just just catching fish and Mainly what I was after was anything, but I'd really wanted to catch some hickory, uh, hickory shad is what I call it, the moon eye. And I uh, really wanted to catch some moon eye for some catfish bait because I plan on going to the Missouri River this weekend. I uh, actually got to go buy another new reel. I bought a Cabela's Cat, or a Bass Pro Cat Max reel about three weeks ago, and the level wind on it already quit. So. I think I'm just going to break down and buy an Abu Garcia 6,000 catfish special or 6,500. I can't remember the model, but it is what it is. But I'm going to get rebaited and let's catch another fish. This is fun. <laughs> wasn't too bad caught three fish um, yeah it was it's uh 77 degrees out right now like I said the the bigger cats the flatheads and the blue cats have just not been biting with a crap in this river uh, Wyatt caught a flathead about a week ago on a on a bluegill down here by the brush pile and that's been about it guys um, I really don't know. I don't really know why this river usually I, I come down here and I catch at least a three or four pound channel cat, but uh, this time that's not the case. So, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you want to see more. I'll catch you next time.